Hi everyone, so today I just want to give an answer to a question that has been asked uh, by a guy who wanted me to to explain to him how to write a letter to KCC. If maybe you are concerned about something, you are worrying about something and you want to get the information or uh, some clarification straight from uh, KCC, how do you go about writing an email with your question to KCC? Obviously, it's going to be an email, but you don't just send an email anyhow. The email that you are about to send to KCC has to be uh, according to the formula that is accepted when someone wants to send a letter or a concern to KCC. You don't just do it anyhow. So I was asked that question by a guy. I was like, okay, you know, it's fine for me to give him that answer, but maybe a uh, majority of people or, you know, a lot of people also are asking themselves that question or are about to send an email to KCC to get some clarification re regarding the update of their cases but they just do not, do not know how to go about it so I, instead of me just giving me a straight answer to that guy i decided to make this video to help him and by extension to help many people so if you are watching this video and if maybe you, you have been asking that question this is going to be an answer to that question okay the question that i mean the answer i'm about to give you it's based on what i myself did it's based on my personal experience okay what i went through myself what i did whenever i was having some questions to ask to kcc how did i do and i was getting answers after asking those questions following the formula that I am about to share with you okay so just to make it easy I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see the formula the way it has to be so that your letter or your email can be considered by KCC and therefore give answer to your question okay let me sh uh, share a screen with you so the email address you have to make use is this one KCC DV at state.gov that's all so the, the email address you have to make use to send your concern or to ask your question is the email address that i just highlighted out now okay and then obviously on the subject line you can put the reason why you are writing uh you are writing your question or your letter to kcc as for me regarding this specific case as i mentioned that i was not able to access my case number you know to, to get the status of my case number through ds260 form at some point i could not access my ds my ds260 form after i have filled and submitted okay so what i did i wrote a letter to kcc and on the subject line that was the reason of me writing that letter to kcc okay as you can see it says here i mean subject reasons reason of the email so you can have to put the reason of the email the reason of the email of my case that day was unable to access my case number that was the subject line and then when it comes to the body of the email or the content of the email and in the content of in the content of the email this is where you have to be more specific and this is where you have to, you have to be careful it has to be according to a formula what is the formula first of all you have to start with the name of the applicant and the name of the applicant is the person who have applied and who have been selected let's say you are a, a member of a family of five people you know all of you 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 belong to a certain case number but although it is five of you there might be four derivatives and one principal so in this case 
you don't put the name of derivative here no you don't put such name the only name you put here is the name of the main applicant okay so it's going to be on the first line you can see here let me try to highlight it so the name it has to be that of the applicant just for an example i put my name okay as if i was the main applicant so if you are the main applicant the principal applicant put your name here because this is the name that first of all appears on the selection letter okay on the first notification letter and secondly it has to be your case number this is the case number actually the case number that appears here is not a real case number i just you know just to make the video that's why i make i made use of this this case number but the real case number i mean my case number was not the one that appears on the screen right now it was something totally different you know but for you know for security purpose i just decided not to uh unveil my my real case number this is just you know a case number for example so as for your case you're gonna have to, to put your complete case number but pay attention we know that when you want to access your ds260 form we remove the four zero these zeros here that we call leading zero we just remove them to make the rest of the remain of uh, characters as case number okay that's how we access our ds260 form but in this case because you are writing a letter to kcc don't remove any zero put the zeros as they appear on your real case number because they are asking about your case number this is not ds260 form but this one you are writing a letter to kcc okay so leave the zero as it appears actually just put your case number as it is from the first notification letter as you receive it okay and then the last thing to do on this line on this part will be the date of birth i want to i want you to pay attention here when it comes to date of birth i know when it comes to date of birth the formula differs you know if you are a french person like me french people when we write a letter when it comes to date or when we give date for instance date of birth we start with the day the month and the year but this is not how it works in america in america you start with the month the day and the year so here it says june 30th 1960 so in your case when it comes to date of birth you will start with month day and year okay and after you put uh, the reason why you are writing to kcc on this line here the subject line and uh, in the content of uh, your uh, your email you start with the name of the applicant the case number and the email i mean the date of birth of the applicants not the derivative i'm insisting the date of birth all the information that has to be here must be that of the main applicant okay so after you make sure that everything is correct that when you can now write everything you want to ask any question you want to ask to kcc they will definitely give answer to you but as for me as i told you it was because i was not at some point able to access my ds260 form that is well that was the reason being of me sending an email to them that is the reason why the content of my email was hi hello dear madam or sir i have already filled and submitted the ds260 form but now i'm trying to log in order to print the confirmation page or concealer or to consult the ds260 using my case number i'm receiving the below error message the message was the case information you entered does not match our record please try again or contact the kentucky concealer center or kcc by email and this is the email address that kcc will tell you to send your request to and remember is the email address i made use i showed you right in the beginning of this video and they will say or by phone public inquiry phone number this is the phone number that you can appear here and it has to be 
uh, at 7.30 in the morning to 4 o'clock p.m. from Monday to Friday for fair assistance. But please, when it comes to making use of this, this phone number, I'll tell you not to use this phone number because it will ring, 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 and it will ring again. You know, the possibility of uh, your call being taken is one out of hundred. So don't call this number. The best way is to make use of email address. Okay, send do send email to KCC using this formula. They are going to help you. So, you have any question? You wanna know more about your the state of your uh, the status of your case, or you have some concern about the evolution of your case? Don't hesitate. Just make use of the formula I showed you today, and definitely KCC do give answers to the question. Follow as it is, ask many questions as possible. There's no such stupid question. Ask a question because you wanna know, you wanna get some clarification. Ask question to KCC following this formula and you are going to be helped regarding the status of your case. Maybe you are stuck at uh, your case at NVC. Things are not moving forward, maybe you how you have already submitted your GS260 form last year. Now it's, it's almost eight months or six months. Nothing is moving. And you want to know more? Use this formula. Ask question to KCC. And for sure, he is going to give answer to your question. Because I, the one telling you today, have asked more than 20 times questions to KCC. And every time I was asking those questions, I've been getting answers. So... Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video. If you have any other question, don't hesitate to put it on the comment. 